right now on Cairo 7 News. And the snow is starting to pick back up in the mountains this evening. Here's a live look at Crystal Mountain Resort. We've already seen wintry conditions in eastern Washington and Oregon. Strong winds blowing that snow all over in Pendleton. Let's get straight to Chief Meteorologist Morgan Palmer in the Pinpoint Weather Center. Now uh, Now we're seeing a lot of concerns about lowland snow that could cause even more problems. There will be some, and there will be some slick roads in spots. Right now, a major snowstorm is looking less likely for western Washington, and I'll explain why. Right now, we have a few very light showers toward the Cascades in King County. There have been a few uh, wet snowflakes mixing in around North Bend or at least some grapple, some ice pellets earlier. We could have some slick spots mainly in the north early talking about Whatcom and Skagit counties. Windy as we go through Thursday, especially later in the day Thursday, that could work with any residual moisture because it's very cold air coming out of Canada for some light snow, mainly less than an inch of accumulation and very spotty. Most of us won't have that at all, and it turns drier eventually. But early tomorrow morning, we'll be watching areas of Whatcom County, Skagit County for the potential for a little light snow. Just check with us first thing in the morning starting at 4.30 a.m. But the reason why tomorrow is a pinpoint alert day as the cold air sinks south, this is noon, it could bring up a band of light snow that moves to the south. Again, accumulations minor. And here in a few minutes, we'll look at Friday and into Saturday and where a stronger storm could go here in the Pacific Northwest. That's coming up. Morgan, thank you. From snow in the west to deadly tornadoes down south, at least four deaths have been reported in Alabama, Georgia, and North Carolina from this massive storm system.